Ngo kusesi kweni na mtlanje ingo koye nzuke zimbini malunga nelu imiza senza nza Afrika e kutuwa li sebeleze mitla logu kusisa ni nkubeko epitoli. Le ngo koye nyaka ngo nyaka itibani sanda wonye inga linge inga lize luimi ezi puma kuma sebe kakulmente kunye na makumfu abu tala ukuze skwala sele umka osele wanjue li lizwe kupuli iso ni londo lozo la zozo nge ilu imiza senza nza Afrika. Umsitu walo nyaka ubanjwe panzi kwa mkolo oti ukuputu la ilu imizo mzanza Afrika kwa mzanza Afrika ngono ukupiyoze la imi nyagi nga mashu mama tatu e demokrasi na wunga paya. Ise belezi midlalo ubukisa ni mtube kolivule ngo kusesikwe ni konga lesizo lukubambisana na basebe nzi belu imi eli indi bale ya nzukumbini eba anjelu epitoli. Eli konga li chonge ukukutaza inteto ingo wiso mteto lulu imi. Inkubo zo punyezo kumka kongubo ulwimi kunya nuku kutaza ulwimi. Ugu kuka nuku kutaza ugu sekenziswa kwe ulwimi ezi semtetweni kuwa oma tatu wa matandelu kwa kulumente. Today we having a session which we refer to as a stakeholder engagement forum. From a few years ago we reinstituted this particular forum because of the importance of alignment. Um, across our spheres of government. Uh, you are aware of the fact that we basically have got three spheres of government at local, at provincial and at national level and we needed to ensure that when we prioritize uh, development of languages um, we are all talking from you know one page. We all have an understanding of what is it that we need to do, what are the challenges and we have a common approach. Um, in doing that. So um, this is why we are having this forum which meets twice a year um, with those representatives. Uh, we have got them coming here to account to the sector, uh, the language practitioners and those that are in the linguistic space. Uh, they engage uh, on topics that are, are critical to the development of languages but as I'm saying we also use it as a platform for all the spheres of government that are here to report back to, to the stakeholders. Le njenge enye ye ndibano ezi kubekayo ikazo njenga leyo ibona kalisa ukuza no chinjo njenga oba zilangani sandawo nye abatati ngakweba abano luazi. One of the importance of this forum is that it gives e opportunity for those that are, are participating to learn from best practices. So in the presentations that they would, whoever is coming from a particular national department or province or municipality, people that are participating are able to pick up those things to say, oh, okay, maybe I need to also go back and try this. One of the things that is critical for all government departments across the three spheres is for them to have very clear language policies. And language policies is not just something that is on paper. It translates to having structures in place, employing the right kind of people that are going to drive the language policy of that particular department at whatever level it is at. And it allows for opportunities uh, like making sure that when people come to that particular department, there is someone who can converse in their languages. We've got 12 official languages in this country now. And, and for us, we recognize the need to make sure that the use of those languages, the support of those languages is on par. Oh, kwe kwa kukukuta za ukutina uluimi lwebele kwa ye ulundu lwe abongozo kwa lukumbu ule ikabizo lwe ziluimi kwa ye luzikine nga lolonke ikasha. Kwe nda baza soeto tv ndungulomza balazo mtuka epitoli.